In this video, we will show you how you can leverage Capato's branching strategy throughout your release process. NextGen Networks has recently started working with Capato. This is what their release flow looks like. When using Capato, the metadata of each Salesforce environment in the release flow is represented by a branch in the repository. Since NextGen Networks has a release flow that involves three dev environments, UAT and production, they have initialized their repository with the branches Dev1, Dev2, Dev3, UAT, and Master. Let's take a look at how NextGen Networks manages their release process with Capato. Dave has been working on a feature in Dev1, and now he wants to move his changes to UAT. When he commits his changes in a user story, Capato creates a feature branch from the master branch that captures this initial commit and any successive commits related to that user story. Capato creates the feature branch from the master because we consider production as a stable environment. So, no work in progress from other features is carried in this feature branch. Right after every commit, Capato merges that feature branch into the orgs branch, where Dave was working, Dev1 in this case, in order to keep the org branch in sync with the metadata in the org. Meanwhile, Debbie has been working in the Dev2 environment. When she commits in her user story, following the same process as before, Capato creates a new feature branch for her from the master, keeping her changes separated from Dave's changes. When Dave promotes his user story to UAT, Capato creates a promotion branch out of the destination branch, the UAT branch in this scenario. During this promotion process, if no conflicts are detected, or if they are automatically resolved, the feature branch is merged into the promotion branch, meaning that the original content of UAT will remain, while the new contributions from Dev1 are added. If multiple user stories are included in a promotion record, their respective feature branches will be merged sequentially into the promotion branch. Moving forward, Dave executes the deployment. The source used for the deployment will be the files as they are on the promotion branch at the time of the latest commit. Once the deployment has been successfully completed, the promotion branch is merged into the UAT branch, incorporating the changes committed in the user story into the destination org branch, UAT in this case. Suppose smoke tests have ended in UAT, and Debbie's and Dave's user stories are ready to be deployed from UAT to production. The release manager creates a sole promotion and includes both user stories. As he creates the deployment for this promotion, Capato creates a promotion branch out of the master branch. Then, Capato reuses the initial feature branches and merges them into this promotion branch. Let's imagine that now the business chooses not to move Debbie's user story in this release. Forget about next-gen networks having to rework the composition of the release branch manually. With Capato, the release manager only needs to deselect Debbie's user story from the promotion record and create a new deployment. This will create another promotion branch without Debbie's feature branch. When he executes the deployment, the new promotion branch will get merged into the master. This way, the user story commits will reach the final stage. 